Hey everybody and welcome to another episode of uh, Ruby Jump Chain. Woohoo! Villain side. Um, I'm, I'm dead inside. Yeah, and I do apologize for any weird noise they hear in the background. I might actually be able to shop that out. So if you guys don't hear any noise, uh, good on you. Yeah. Um, yeah if you hear the noise, I apologize ahead of time because of Mike. Mm -hmm. I, we have. Oh, sorry. Yeah. No, no, I'm just saying I'm sorry for my mic. Mm -hmm. What's up, Bruce? Yeah. I was saying we have a short party party. here today, guys. Sorry. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, Rogue is currently uh, with, at work. He's trying to cover somebody else's shift. Uh, Hopefully it won't happen too like often, that. like Fallout Equestria, but we'll see. And then Burnett is currently AFK because he's with family. And he doesn't like his family, but whatever. Yeah, but anyway, okay. so it's just Midnight and Crow at the moment. And uh, that's basically it. So last time we left off, uh, if you guys watched the crossover episode for the heroes and the villains, um, which you guys probably have or possibly haven't, um, they landed just here. Just got back. Yeah, they just got back. They both landed there. Um, I landed in my fanfiction books. Yeah, they're, they're, it's a very good thing Salem. you had a big pile. <laughs> Salem's not on right now. Yeah, we said hi to Salem. Should we let her go? We, mm -hmm. the, we found uh, out Azul's compromised. No, then, like, oh. yeah. So far, um, that was a thing that we did. Uh, yeah, actually, that was what we did. Um, yeah. And then you guys also looked around. Uh, the there was areas things all mostly, over the place. Yeah, things it were was, mostly. My destroyed, character was not really crushed. happy with that. There was yeah. a couch on the. And then ceiling. Burnett threw a, uh, a bed at Malachi, knocked him out, and then Roasted got hit in the head by a falling ceiling, which apparently Burnett at left afterwards. You guys went and tied the shore. And Rook was just kind of staying in there. He smelled vaguely of barbecue sauce and brisket, but yeah. I'm, I'm just going to peel on the couch and start eating a hot dog. My character <laughs> just looks at everything and is like, well, fuck me in the ass. This is ridiculous. Well, hot we, dog. we may had a little bit of an issue with some people earlier. Rogue, what the hell happened? happened? Well, you see, there were two people. We weren't quite sure on who was, and we didn't find this out until around the end. Um, but then we had two people here, which were kind of weird. And then, uh, well, one of them started wearing uh, pink suspenders and tan shirt and a pink mustache and pink afro. And he got onto the dance floor and started dancing what I imagine was the disco back in the day. And then Br uh, Burnett decided to walk forwards with some brisket. And then they got into a brisket barbecue dance-off battle of sorts. And then the entire area was covered in brisket and barbecue sauce and they may or may not have almost broken reality by thrusting so hard with ironwood that reality almost crumbled you know that sounds like he also ransacked the room that also I sounds like someone that. I used to know <laughs> that sounds so like we... buck he oh, rat scarps. so what happened to Burnett uh well Burnett was called uh to uh, ironwood a little bit before they also meant to grab you and uh Silver, but they couldn't find you. I, I, I'm just Question. glaring at Rogue. My character just looks around I'm the room and says, "My character just signs for um, signs for. Is there? He signs in sign language and says, "Is there any listening devices?" Rogue replies with, "No." I'm glaring at Rogue, saying, "Did you say?" Uh, oh, Miss Salem's not going to be happy about this, and I, I also heard that. Did uh, did Ironwood say he was looking for me? Uh, yes. I was did looking I for you as well as Osborne. <sighs> that idiotic fool again. Trying to interfere with this war, my work. <laughs> <sighs> Miss Salem's not going to be happy about this. I don't know if she'll be... She'll probably be disappointed, but not angry. Looks <laughs> like we're going to have to move something ahead of schedule and... Wait a minute. This is interesting. Mm hmm. I'm going to have to look at this later. Should I contact Miss Salem or not right now? Because in, 10, in about 30 minutes, we got to get ready to go to Ironwood and uh, Austin. No, no. Yeah, Austin wanted you to meet him as soon as possible inside of his office. 
I would say afterwards. All right. Palmer. Very well. Just give me a second. He smokes. He takes a shot of whiskey very quickly. Ugh, I'm going to need this. This is ridiculous. I came back and this is what I... Uh, can, can you toss <laughs> me some? I'll, I'll, I'll need some if I'm going to deal with... I'm going to probably have to deal you're with my teacher. You need... You, Silver Wing. Now you're going to be named Silver Wing. You need to be on the down low right now. Just ha don't have your weapon on you right now. I won't. I'll leave it. At, I'll leave it right now in the location where if I do get, if I suddenly have to have to leave, I'll leave it where I can grab it quickly and get out. They're probably going to do background checks on us, knowing them. They only have. They don't have no information on me and Rogue. I've kept myself. They have in plenty on me, especially if I if I heard right, my teacher well, here. Let uh, me see. Well, previous teacher. Let me see what I have here. Hmm. Do I have any teleportation devices, like small ones that could transport you a small distance? Not a long distance, but enough for him Not to, in case he gets... Hmm. Yeah. Well, the only things that you have are the like stuff that's in your sheet. So. Oh, and okay. your warehouse, of course. So, uh, I'm, I'm going to leave my weapon here and take okay. secondary. I'm going to take my uh, pistol that I have and have it on me, so... So here, I'm gonna really quick talk to Rosa. I mean, not Rosa. Uh, Midnight. I think it's probably a good idea. I leave my weapon here. If if I get found out, I'm gonna. I'm, this is just a backup. If I don't get found out, if I do, I'm gonna grab my pistol, point at you and them, shoot it, and at both you, both you and them, to make sure I get out of there. Grab my weapon. I'm gonna meet up with a super. I'm gonna For be now, with but if, but, oh, if get, but if you get yeah. caught, I will be able to use my puppet. Just send me your location. Remember, my puppet is both physical and spiritual. It can yeah. take anything, and it can probably unlock keys and cells and all that. The only stuff. problem we have is I, I think I heard my old teacher is here. So hopefully he doesn't. Bro, Bronwyn. Yeah. One of Osborne's yeah. trusted servants. Great. Yep, and he's my previous teacher. Knows I'm here. Stamp All, right. All right. He takes the shot of a cigar and says, "Let's get going. Let's get this over with." <sighs> Pass me a swig of whiskey before we go. Cause I'll need some if I'm gonna deal with his shit. Here. Personally, Ironwoods. <laughs> All right. Let's go. Rogue, come on. Rogue kind of like moves back a little bit. It's like. I've already gotten checked by them. They decided to put me as uh, nothing bad. Uh, probably because I had just enough information to not be discovered, but just enough to not be seen. Well, so they have nothing know, on me. They don't have nothing on me either. But have, I'm, 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 The only problem with me is I will put... Po the, it, I'm possibly going to be found out. There's it's a slim chance. You probably will, but I'll let Salem know. And with Team Carmine out there... They're outside in the forests of Vale right now on the down low. Rogue so also for mentions right to now, if everything... By the way, uh, one thing that was noticed I heard earlier as I was blending in the conversations, uh, Team Carmine has been found out uh, as spies, which is the main reason why they're doing uh, these background checks on all of us. And on top of that, they discovered one of the... Well, they feel like there's going to be a virus one, the... Um, other members uh, told them about one of them. So they're oh going to be sending their top gosh. researcher from Atlas over here to see if they're... Uh, Salem's them. not going to be happy. She's going to be upset. Well, wait. You said an Atlas researcher. Yep. Do you Atlas happen, did, you happen, did you happen to get anything on them? The only thing I heard was the only name that popped up, which was Diana Paulantana. Paulina. Perfect. Okay. All right. It's since they're sending her, you could leave her to me. She was one of my targets before. I wasn't able to get her because of no, goddamn no, Iron Dick. One silver. Right I'm now, not gonna, we... I'm not gonna kill her. Don't worry. What I'm gonna do is I'm. If you, do you have something that your puppet could use that could possibly divert her plane to somewhere else? No. Her cargo ship. I don't know. We're going to have to find out something. Right now, let's just go, and I'll contact you on the communicator. Yeah, let's go. We'll talk about this later. I still have my switchblade and 
pistol mm -hmm. all my gun my weapons here if i need to i'll go back here grab it and jump out the window Whee! Yeah, you guys go to him husband's office over yep. here and there's also ironwood over there on azul's there if you need to get rid of him all right and rogue uh, rogue's out there with us the person. sorry they're tiny you're too okay i'm being dragged away <laughs> so uh, we'll, we'll i will drag there. you all away uh, where's ironwood I'm finding him on. Oh, is Crow going to be there too with them? Uh, no. Crow there. hasn't arrived yet. Okay. Okay. Because yeah. he, he'll be... I heard he's headed to Vale. So. Mm -hmm. uh, Great, Iron Wood here. Iron Wood, as always, looks extremely <laughs> stoic and apparently a giant, but who cares? If you would stop double-clicking, that would be goddamn amazing. No, you are now too tiny. <laughs> you are a he's thin a boy. slim boy. He's there you go. And now you he's might want to put regal. him right here. No. There you go. Now he looks regal. What about Glinda? Is she there? Oh, Glinda's not there. She would be in her class, I think, right now. All right. Doing so we work. all walk into Salem. We all take the elevator up to Salem's office. My care. You mean Austin? Meditate right now. <laughs> yeah. Austin's office, not Salem. Yeah. <laughs> Austin's office. Blah, blah, blah. Salem's chickens. <laughs> uh, I, uh, the... Uh, door for the elevator ring dings. Mm -hmm. I tap on Midnight's shoulder, dude, right here. And I'm oh. not too keen on seeing him again. <laughs> we got no Alright, let's get this over with. He, We open the doors. Mm -hmm. Ospin is just kind of sitting there with a. Uh, you're not quite sure whether or not to call it a smile, or if you think that it's a worried face, or if you think that he might be trying to kill someone. You're not entirely sure. His face is damn near unreadable. Ironwood, on the other hand, has his face looking just like his sleeve. Angry. My character's just looking at both of them. He doesn't make any facial expressions, but in the back of his mind, he's to be like, Husband, you think you're so righteous? You're sending kids to die? Welcome. I'm, I'm just <laughs> staring at uh, Ironwood the whole time. He has his hand on his gun. Like, I mean, like, it's holding it tight. Now it's been like, yep. welcome, you two. Hello. Would you like to take a seat? He points two chairs in front of him. Hello. I'd take a seat. Hmm. I think I'll prefer to stand, to be honest. Whatever makes you comfortable. Huh? Whatever makes you comfortable. So, we've had some interesting things happen over the course of the last couple of days. Uh, namely, we've found out that one of your teammates managed to infiltrate a White Fang base, become, was essentially one of their lower lieutenants, and managed to also infiltrate here at the exact same time. And we also looked up a little bit of you guys' backgrounds. Rogue, as you may have already noticed since he's not with you, has passed our background check. It was very simple. He had a little bit on him from being inside of Mistral, and then even the um, Atlas military backed him up for it. The Shinny Company itself backed him up on his uh, words. So we have no particular issue with your other teammate. My character just sits down and just... just... Just takes out a cigarette and says, "You don't mind if I smoke a little bit?" He gestures for you to do so. Um, Burnett, on the Thanks. other hand, has managed to leave. The moment we started mentioning him being a White Fang member, he points to the giant hole in his window. Wait, Azul did that? Yeah, he said, "Sorry, I was trying to find the door as he was falling out." That's worse than the time that he threw a damn bed here at uh, Silver Wing here. Yes. yes. So now we have to run a background check on you two, which we have extensively. He looks at uh, Roasted for a second. Your background check came up with nothing. That's... Literally hmm. nothing. No hmm. family. No previous training history. No contacts no anything it was blank no matter how far we reached back there was nothing would you care to explain why that is well Mr. for the family Shade? part there's a reason for that i never really knew my real family i don't know much about who i where i came from 
And that's honest to God's truth. All I do know was I was adopted. I was adopted at the age of six or seven. I was taken in by a family. They're dead though now because of what happened. Interesting. And yet you have no training at any school around in Vale or even Mistral or Vacuo, Atlas. No record of any training at all, and yet you're able to get in to Bacon. I trained by myself. I had a few books that I grew up from Huntsman and Huntresses. But mostly I loved training by myself. One, it's more peaceful and quiet. And two... I enjoy it. You see, to be honest, I don't really enroll really much in academies that much. The only thing I don't know about my history is these eyes of mine. He, he shows him his blue cat slit eyes. They're not normal. I don't know much about them. They look like almost like faunus. They're not, uh, they're not faunus. I don't know how I have these eyes. Well, I as the old stories say, sometimes a mystery is simply an unfound truth. The reason why I kept my background checked the way it was, why I didn't mention my family, was because I don't want any pity. Hmm. I don't want and people start looking up and says, whoa, Mr. it's me. Shade. Huh? Where do you originally come from, Mr. Shade? I came from Mistral. To be honest, I was trained by a few people, but I trained alone with books. That's usually what I did. I was raised by an adopted family. They died. I don't like talking about it. Hmm. Interesting. He looks out to silver. And you, and immediately as he starts talking, Einwood slams his fist onto the table. I mean, like, shaking the entire table, damn near flipping it, kind of slam his fist on there. You! I, I look over here with a smile. Yes? We were doing extreme background checks upon you, and you've been Atlas for like five years now. We've been hunting you. Oh, it's good to see you, uh, old Jenny. How are you doing? It's been a while, Iron Dick. I look over to him, look back at uh, Rosen's character, Midnight. I'm sorry I have to do this. I pull out my gun. What are you doing? I, I point my gun at Ironwood, then back it. Uh, and then I switch it to Midnight mm -hmm. and shoot. And shoot. Ironwood can't seem to go fast enough, but Ozpin has immense reflexes. Grabs his cane and slaps the bullet out of the air. But by the time he does that, I'm already mm -hmm. at the... I'm in the elevator and it's closing. So, mm -hmm. hey, escape attempt. Success. <sighs> Ironwood immediately jumps out of the window. <laughs> well. Wow. Well. Yeah. <laughs> Ozpin kind of like looks at the looks at right there. He's like, "Well, that was um exciting." What the hell? I I uh, really quick. I, I pull mm -hmm. out my scroll that I have. Mm -hmm. I send a little uh a little message to Ozpin saying, "Hey, no hard feelings, am I right? It's just business, am I set right?" Hmm. Not that big of a he deal, puts away his phone. So as we were going to explain before uh, <clears throat> my colleague had other opinions, <clears throat> Silver Crow over there, originally named Silver Wing, is a mercenary from Atlas. Well, at least we feel we believe he's from Atlas. He's also a student of Crow Broadwin. Crow does not talk about him a lot, nor does Crow really talk about anything a lot. From what I know, he was a, a student of his before he turned into a mercenary. Set most of his time inside of Atlas, and uh, had a few interactions with Ironwood. But considering he changed his style, that's why Ironwood didn't discover him. 
I just laugh at this because it's like, <laughs> hey, Jenny, not that I know C. Iron it's dick. been a while. <laughs> I just, I wanted to do this. <laughs> yeah, just so I'll spend looks at your team hey. again. So, you now have two teammates, which were against you the entire time. <sighs> Should have, I should have looked at them more. Whoops, my bad. Mm. Sometimes, the most difficult thing is to trust an ally, especially when they can turn their back on you. I suggest you take this is as a learning lesson. For now, we'll keep you. Yeah, you and Iron would like running. Away. It's like for now. We'll keep you and Rogue as your own team. We'll keep you named as Mars. Uh, That's fine. MR, short for Mars. <laughs> My, uh, yeah. We'll keep you as a single team for now. You seem to have passed our background check. Although, do considering the rest of your team has turned into um, evildoers, we shall say, we will be keeping quite a close eye on your team. That's fine. One last thing, though. Huh? Team Carmine. What do you know of them? You mean those newcomers that came in? Hmm. I don't know much about them, to be honest. <sighs> hmm. I always usually pay attention to myself, to be honest. I guess you could say I'm too much of a lone wolf. <laughs> After what happened. I don't really Sometimes that it's better to be friends than it is to be alone. But we have recently discovered that they are in fact traitors. Well, spies, more accurately. Huh. Not surprising. Mm. I kind of figured something was up with them. Mm. And we have heard from a... Uh, <sighs> semi unreliable source, shall we say, that they have managed to plant something in one of our CCT towers. As such, we have brought in, or, well, going to, and she's from Atlas, so this is going to take a few days. We are bringing in a specialist. She is the head scientist of the entire Atlas Research Foundation. Basically, so imagine what? the researcher to Ironwood's military. So what? So what? You want us to help her find this virus? Yes, I want you to uh, guide her, if there since you do know is. the area fairly well. If if there is one, that is, you never yes. know. People it love spreading like, crappy rumors. Well, as we were told when Ironwood so elegantly put it, that we are impenetrable. Uh, the other person. I'm not going to say his name for now. The other person simply said, A man is most vulnerable when he believes himself to be invincible. Uh, I'm sorry, just I laugh at impenetrable. I'm okay. No, I'm okay. I'm okay with you, Ospin. Personally, I'm not a big fan of Ironwood. Mm. He has very, um, shall unique we say, way. <laughs> unique way of doing things. With how difficult yeah, this honest. land is, he kind of gestures out to the window. It is not un unknown for him, for such a man to become cold. Yep. <laughs> I, I just grabbed my weapon after run running from the room. <laughs> well, sorry to take up most of your time. I mm. There was a reason, like I said, why I remained incognito. I personally don't like people looking at my history and going woe is me because i don't want pity it, it makes me just i want people to just look at me as a regular person i don't want people to start pitying me because i lost my family mm -hmm. i know that feeling far too well my character just looks at him but emo expressionless but in his mm -hmm. mind he's saying yeah you do ozma after you notice you that his them. eyes have kind of, kind of like casted downwards for a second before he leans back up and he grabs his cane. Anyways, I believe now is time for you to catch up with Can Rogue. I do something really quickly before I leave? Let me see if I can roll to do it. 
Roll nat one. Uh, oh well. Oh, Seventeen. Ooh! I roll already. Mm -hmm. My character just uh, goes right up to, I guess, a gear or something like that, mm -hmm. and looks at like you really do have a lot of gears here. What's the point of that? Uh, he looks around the room for a second. Call it um, decoration, shall we say? Hmm. My character just uh, is he able to look? Is he able? Can can you roll very quickly and see if he notices something? If if he notices something, I can't. He does not. Okay, will he notice? He does not. He's gesturing around the room at the moment. Am I able to summon up a very quickly puppet to place a small listening device below, like on the side of the room, like if, if possible, or nah? Uh, or your puppet away, mostly maybe. comes from your belt. Uh, specifically, it usually hangs off of your belt. Um, so if you have something on your belt, you can probably just grab it and place it. That would probably be the fastest thing you can do. My character just... Uh... Okay, what 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 should I do? I'm trying, I'm confused. <laughs> when you walk to the elevator, before you get in, just put it on the elevator, uh, but like uh, right above the button, That's so good. small they won't notice it. <laughs> All right, he does that. <laughs> just, uh, I mean, everyone talks in the idea. elevator, so you. <laughs> yeah, you just, I, I'm even, uh, you just. I'm I'm out of the elevator now. He you puts guys. one. He puts one quickly on the top gear up above the roof. Mm -hmm. Like his puppet goes up there and put like a small listening yeah. device top of the so he really that mm -hmm. unless he does a dusting thing. <laughs> so my mm -hmm. character does that. He says, "You really do got a problem, do you?" Also, next time I'm switching that damn coffee to decaf. I hate <laughs> coffee. He he has a short laugh and it's like, coffee is uh. Not my favorite thing, but it's certainly a useful tool. Now, Professor... What was his name? Not Ublek, the other one. Port. Oh, is it Ublek? Yeah. Now, Professor Ublek, on the other hand... Nah, that's coffee. <laughs> oh. oh, his... Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. I don't think I've seen like, that man I... stop drinking coffee for more than two minutes at a time. Cynic! The coffee... <laughs> If there's one thing I hate, it's coffee. I can't stand the taste of it, even if I took creamer with it. I prefer drinking tea. <laughs> so, oh wait, I have one. I have one big question. If mm. I show my amulet to Ozpin, will he get suspicious of that? Uh, possibly. I mean, okay, it's been on your belt all show. this time, so he probably knows him. He probably has seen him. I would, probably say, I would say yes. Yeah, it's been on your belt the entire time, so he's probably seen it. He just hasn't commented. So, so if I show it to him, will he get really suspicious? Unlikely. I mean, if he was going suspicious, yeah, suspicious, he probably would have been suspicious when he first saw it. So I haven't shown any suspicious behavior lately. Nope. Yeah. Besides you disappearing, do... which he he does remark on you for a moment. He's like, also your teammate Rogue mentioned that you and uh, Silver were gone. Yeah, we had to go do... Wait. Hmm. You were on a mission a... with a mercenary. Do you have any tales? Hmm. Well, I could tell you the time where I did do something where I had to... <laughs> Once I did fight a corrupt huntsman, to be honest. I never hmm. did any mission with him, but I had to do that one with him. It was a corrupt huntsman, though I didn't know he was a corrupt huntsman as well. <laughs> Unfortunately, well, I, there are I, many of those. Though I do have something that, before my family passed away, they did give me this. They hmm. said it was a good luck charm. He shows him the amulet. He I don't know much his about eyebrow. it. Huh. I have not it seen one of those in, well, more years than you've been alive. What do you know about these, then? Very Even little. I've show. What do you mean, very little? Is there like no archive at her? These things were lost to time, a long, long time before I was born. These are very mean? special items. No one knows exactly what they're for, but he holds it in his hand for a second. So he looks at. It. There are said to be two types of these. We're not entirely sure what the other type was. But the, one, the first type was this. And it said whoever holds this will gain an immense 
mouth lock. What kind of lock, though? Well, he hands it back to you. Genuinely, it's bad luck. Bad luck? They are said that those carry evil within them. As such, bad luck is typically just a, um... Well, something that goes along with evil, shall we say. Crow. Well, (laughs) this was... (laughs) Well, this was the last thing my family ever gave me. It was mm. something before they died. They said if they ever passed away, I kept it. I've kept it on me for a long time, so I kept it around just to keep them a memory of them. Mm. I didn't know much about it, but I just wish I could know more about it, to be honest. Call me curiosity, but it's just curious about it. Well, maybe one day you will find out some more of it. If you do, it would be very interesting to know. All right. Sorry for taking your time, Ben. <laughs> it is of no matter. And sorry about your damn window. <laughs> Trust me. Once uh, Glinda gets here, it'll be right as rain. I just have to make a few more cookies. Cookie? Yeah. I swear. <sighs> You see, you know what? I'm Linda, not even gonna comment on Linda that. Linda is really good at uh, hurting people if she's hungry. Just make sure you save a cookie for me, damn oh, it! Oh, 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 okay, <laughs> oh. SM, SN, SMN, uh, SNM person over there, stop that! We don't need a B, small BDSM. and monkeys. No, we don't need BDSM in this in this uh, in this school, anyway. Missy. Mm-hmm. Anyway. Yeah. My character goes to his cup of coffee and si- my character goes to the cup of coffee and sips it very quickly. <coughs> it's bitter. I thought you didn't like coffee. I tried it, all right. <laughs> I thought it would be sweeter. I don't like coffee, but I might as well give it a try. And you taste it tastes too freaking bitter. Yes. <laughs> so, uh, so that's a thing he just did. <laughs> all right. See you, Mr. So- Rosman. He nods to you and starts walking towards his chair. Now, on Let's... all the way towards Mal, you have been running for uh, quite some time. Uh, does crow, crow, no, buddy. <laughs> well, buddy you're actually more like teacher. right up there, and he's more like right down here. Did my, char- did my character switch to his disguise and go out there or nah? Uh, I mean, this no, is while you were I... talking to Osborne, essentially. So this okay. is me and him while you, yeah. yeah. So yeah, he ran quite far away, enough, well, far enough to get away from uh, Ironwood, surprisingly. Ironwood. Though Ironwood Iron is Dick. still on your trail, just it's a very far trail. But anyway, so as you're running... I, I left, so he's just exiting Beacon. I'm over here halfway on this side of the town. Yeah, you are That's much faster than him. <laughs> oh, no, duh. I have Mach 2, basically. Yeah, by, you're quite fast. Not quite the fastest, the- but yeah. By by this word standards, I'm just a slow, just a bit slower uh, mm-hmm. at my max to be than uh, Ruby is. Yeah, Ruby uh, is Ruby much is faster slow. than you. You're about the same speed as like Yangish, unless you I, I, heavy so, up to your speed so in which case you about so Ruby. If, if I'm just like going max speed, like without without my semblance mm-hmm. or anything, right mm-hmm. now I'm at Yang. I'm using my semblance to go a little faster, which I'm just yeah. below Ruby semblance. Yeah, just below Ruby. But uh, you are stopped by a very familiar sight. Namely of uh, Crow walking around drinking about four pints of some kind of alcohol. And just kind of from wobbling. From a flask. From a flask. <laughs> yeah. I, I look o- I, I run over. I look over at him. Hmm. Well, look at here. It's a drunk. I guess it's... Uh... Says the drunken asshole. (laughs) Oh, that's good to see you again, Crow. I would say likewise, but I'd rather stab myself in the eyes. Ah, likewise, you old bastard. He pulls out a sword and slams into the ground. What are you doing here, Silver? Ah, you know, running from Ironwood after getting thrown out again of somewhere where I was helping mm. a friend. Yeah, I'm gonna go meet up with them. Hopefully meet up another friend. But 
right now, I'm thinking about beating a drunken old ass bastard over <laughs> here and beat his ass to the ground. He takes so, another swig as he leans against his sword. Ah, even while drunk, I still kicked your ass. What well, makes you think you're not going to get kicked, kicked again? You know, I'd love to sit in your chat, but I think that I th that I have something to do. And by the way, isn't that your niece over there? Ooh, not good to be captured by uh, my friend over there. I'll His over. eyes do not even slightly waver from you. <laughs> Are you sure you don't want to look at this friend over there? He has Ruby in a chokehold. He smiles at you. I put Ruby to sleep two hours ago. She is currently at our house. Yang is currently protecting her. And if somebody tries to get past Yang, well, we would hear it. Damn. You got all your yeah. You got all your pages covered over there, drunken old retard. Now, <sighs> I do have one question for you. He snaps his sword out so it becomes a, a gun. Did you steal Yang's hair? Cause if so, that's low, man, even for you. Oh, no, that, that wasn't me. That was one of my teammates. Uh, not, well, not not the ones at Beacon. You see, the one I found, uh, he actually, I even say that's low for him. But, well, uh, if you didn't steal it, boss. that's okay. I don't have to kill you now. I just have to horribly mutate you. Yeah. He then takes a nice wig. <laughs> I hope my character does show up at the last second. <laughs> just so uh, I pull my sword out and uh, I change it to shotgun mode. Also, it's like, well, <clears throat> look at here. We have a similar kind of weapon. Actually, yeah, mine, mine one's a, a pistol. Your one's a shotgun. Mine one hits harder than yours. <laughs> yeah, but uh, I don't know about that. I just have to get in cover, and mine does pack up. Oops. Sorry, that was double clicking so, again. So he, he like leans against this thing. You you're fairly certain he has been drinking for far too long tonight. The, yeah. I want to see something. He, you hold a five, correct? Yeah. Okay. Does he just fall over? <laughs> no, he's like using his sword to stay upright at the moment. Uh. He pulled out the pistol, but does. It... Yeah, he pulled out a pistol and he turned back in his sword and slammed it in the ground again as he's like leaning against it. You notice his entire body weight is currently leaning on his sword. You know what? Fine. Okay, Man. so I, I'm just, I'm just I'm watching him. I'm over <laughs> here sighing, saying, It's God, been a long day. <laughs> how long have you been drinking? A while. He <laughs> then takes another swig. Ugh. Drunk bastard! <laughs> <laughs> now, how, uh, now, oh my gosh. Can Adam just come into play and just slice him for me, please? Yeah, it's like, I've been drinking for a while, a... boy. If you learned from my teachings, you would be drunk too. Drunken style. Maybe. You know I don't what? think that works. Uh, you know what? I'm glad I grabbed this poor hand when I was in the room. <laughs> I take a, this giant bottle of whiskey out of my pocket and be like, go, 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 go. My character's just watching from the distance right He's now. He's like, not even sharing with your old man? Ah. You were like a father, but nah. He like takes a step and stumbles. Ugh. Probably best not to share it. <clears throat> yeah, uh, you more like a father, but ugh. Oh, God. Oh, that hit hard I was like a father. <laughs> oh, oh. That, that was, oh, I'd be vomiting on you. <laughs> I, I, I turned my... Pistol, it's like I'm not like your father. Fathers don't vomit on their kids. Oh, I, uh, down. I, I look over. Oh. I look over to her and I see. I'm like, when was there double of you? Why are there two oh. of you now? Uh, what the hell is this shit? My character's just swig. Two is better than one. You have four of you. Oh, oh, this is so strong. What the fuck is this? I, I will look over to. I look over and see midnight, and it's just gonna be like, stay out of this. No, my character, my character's just in the shadows, just. Watching. 
noticed that. <laughs> he doesn't make his appearance. He's just looking at you, you two like, what in the hell? Yeah, it's I like know, a drinking I, competition at this point. It's like, I, you know, uh, my, my I, you know, I can't let you go. Saying, so my character is looking over here saying that. You'd, yeah. you'd think you'd all be fighting by now. He's like, so with that 19, you know, I, you know, I can't let you go. <laughs> so with that 19, I look over there and say, don't interfere. And there's no one there. I pull out he he looks out to the side. He's like, he looks back at you. Ah, you see, you're talking to yourself. How did you get over there? <laughs> <laughs> How many of you are there? I look at him and be like, what? Where did you go? Why, why are you so far away? Oh. <sighs> oh. <laughs> you, you know, <laughs> he takes another giant swig. No, oh, I can't let my you go. God. Without a fight. My... Oh. Ten, ten. Ten. <laughs> I, I'm just, I'm wobbling and trying to hold on to my sword while it's in the ground. We, we gotta fight. He starts running forwards drunkenly with his sword out. Oh. Four, four. Look at that. Ten, ten. Four. He like, he like uh, throws his sword in like almost slow motion. Very certain it's just moving I've slowly. Got, I run after. I run at him with my with, with the pistol. I mean shotgun part of. Oh my yeah. god! I run over to him, pull the shotgun part with the twelve, and mm -hmm. point blank him just <laughs> to knock him out. He gets thrown backwards, but of course, he's not that weak. He's like, oh, oh yeah, that's why I need to wake me up. He then takes no sway his ball, and that's what it takes to knock me down. Now with the now with the four, I after I shoot, I'm over here just being like wobbling with the sword back into the ground. <laughs> Drunk and battle, so the best part. I don't believe what I'm seeing. <laughs> Does midnight just step in now? Just no, 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 not yet. He just wants to see how this all plays out. Does with general... 14, what does he? He oh, runs wait. after you again and flicks out his sword into a scythe and slams it down towards you. He looks. <laughs> <deep>. <laughs> I get thrown. <laughs> yeah, it turns out when you coming? drink an entire bottle of whiskey, you uh, your hand-eye coordination is um, lackluster. <laughs> does General Ironwood come, or does he still wait? Oh, uh, he is good, not very close. Okay. You can hear him vaguely in the distance, screaming, "Oh, come on!" I, I look back at him after that hit. I'm a little bit more sober and be like. <sighs> You'll never catch me, Iron Dick. I will. I will not let you capture me. <laughs> so Chris, like, oh, that. you met Iron Wood so bad again. Bad the... He's. Yeah, he looks in the so distance. At... Two of he's them. So mad at me. One Iron Wood's bad enough. Uh, Iron Wood is so mad at me for killing uh, his daughter. It's funny. <laughs> It was so funny. After we had such a good night, I I, I fished all up and killed her. Ah, oh, I should have not done that. He's so mad at me for that. Hey, what can I say? Business is business. I could have gone after him, but yeah, he's that. like stumbling towards you. Uh, I look. I just got. I, uh, all right, he's like, I gotta take a breather. I got. <laughs> he's like vomiting on the ground. So. I'm just watching him doing this with that Ted be like uh, See uh, This this is why I'm glad I don't drink that often when I do yeah, um, My character my character's just looking at all this and be like I could be it I could just be dancing with Neil right now and so you have to watch uh, these morons dance out like a fucking <laughs> fiesta No remember I drink a whole bottle of whiskey from stealing <laughs> the one from the from the room that too, I'm throwing up now. <laughs> he, stand, he stands back up and he pulls out his sword. I am ready to fight. I just need to uh, <clears throat> vacate everything. All right. Let's do it. I'm still throwing up. <laughs> he points the sword. Let's, Terrible. let's, oh. Oh, that's, oh, that's gross. Iron Wood doesn't show up. I swear to God. I, Iron Wood is. He's, he's closer. No, he's almost there. You can hear him uh, louder I'm now, screaming. I am going to get you. Crow, hold him. It's gross, yeah, like, still... there's not only one of you. I'm still, th I'm still throwing up. Uh, are, are, you, are you, you doing alright? You 
Oh, yeah, man. Up. Nope, nope, I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> it's 11 11 again. You, uh, uh you I'm name good. it? Or I, you... I, I, I... No, I think I'm good now. I like you, you sure? I, I... God, probably have yeah. to hit from that. Yeah. No, nah, it wasn't that. It was that in combined with the whiskey that I drank. Oh. oh. Alright, uh, come here. <laughs> he, like, immediately hard. starts charging you. <laughs> yep. Swinging his now buster sword of not instead of uh, and you get hurt. I, 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 I hate this. Does he swing? How, how does he swing? How does he swing? Hmm? Uh, he swings to the side, so he basically gets so, thrown that way. <laughs> <sighs> finally, finally fighting. I get tired of. I, I'm gonna kill Crow. I swear. I swear. Can't even Crow keep up with the old Which man. Oh, both Which right one? now. <laughs> Can't even keep up with the old teacher. Man, I did not train you very well, did I? It's been Ooh. a while. Since <laughs> I get up and crack my necks. He like holds out his hand. Come here. Okay. Now I'm warmed up. <laughs> Damn. I said now I'm warmed up. Start running. <laughs> He's like I'm chasing like, you nah, now as he like nah, pulls out a sword this. into gun mode and starts shooting you in the back. Nah, fuck this. I just, I just, I'm just running and dodging side to side. Nah, 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 nah. My character decides he's had enough. Let me see what I can roll. <laughs> if, whatever. Nope. Uh, oh. Roll d20 real quick, Mel. Alright, cool. As you're running, you don't realize that you have now run into Ironwood's arm. Well, shit. Yeah, you, you're My running, you look behind you, and when you look forwards, he had his arm out in a clothesline and caught you right in the neck. Uh, hello, good to see you again. So, Going uh, how somewhere? Did daughter's, how did your daughter's funeral, by the way? Uh, you let's can't see. Me. What is this business? He big, growls and starts it. squeezing his bicep. <laughs> my character, can I, can I use that 14 now? Uh-huh, sure. My character just realized he's had enough. This is the most <laughs> stupidest fight he's ever seen, and he's jumping in. Just to get Silver Crow out of there, because he's pissed off and he's had enough. Silver, what have I told you? <laughs> oh, hey, boss. Good to see you again. Crow looks at uh, the group. Uh, man, this requires another drink. <laughs> Starts so down we have iron wood, and... So we have iron. I'm gonna use that 14 in a minute. So uh -huh. we have ironwood and crow Bronwyn, two together in a room. The crow and the wood made and, into a bar. And they see me, they wanna kill me. <laughs> so they you both kill... hate me real well. One for killing his daughter, one for abandoning his teacher. <laughs> Oof. Uh, this is a hard room. Which one should I get? Ironwood to, is to going to throw you into the ground with such velocity and force, you're fairly certain if you had not vacated your stomach, you would be doing it on yourself right now. <laughs> oh, that hurt! My character to used that. To be fair, I deserved it. I fucked your daughter and then got thrown into and then I killed her. I deserve that. I'm he puts his boot on your chest. My character just uses my 14, the one that I just rolled. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to use my Grim Parasol. He gra grabs a whip onto Ironwood and throws him. <laughs> At that Thanks, exact boss. moment. Uh, Crow, sorry, I forgot his name for a second there. Crow immediately launches forwards and starts slamming his sword down onto your head. Let me see what I can roll. After that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> So it is a hefty thunk against your skull as you're knocked for days. <laughs> so Ironwood is knocked off of me now. <laughs> Crow, uh, he got hit by Crow. I rolled an eight, and I'm right now it's back up. But you you vaguely feel like your entire stomach has exploded, but you know besides that you're fine. My character gets up and says, "Well, since you want to know who did that to your to Yang Crow, that was me." Yeah, I didn't that was my go. boss. That was me. I didn't mean to go for the hair, but it was funny to see her reaction. Dude, you see, oh, one oh. thing about my niece is that she really, really hates her hair being taken. 
Also, I love, I love also question, is she on her way here? No, she's protecting Ruby at the moment. I, I look over at a crowd and be like, I, I told him not to cut the hair. I know how Yang is with her hair. I told him not to. Shut up. Told him no hey, boss, I told you not to. <laughs> I was like, I warned you. My character's head's still hurting right now. Uh, silver roll, uh, d20. Ooh, yes! You I almost get a boot to the head as Ironwood takes a roundhouse kick towards you. Managed to block it, I though. Do <laughs> I, I, do I, I bend oh, yeah. under where his leg and shoot mm. him right in the iron dick that he has. Ooh! Oh. Uh, Someone's so gonna get hurt! So you go up oh, crow. I saw, I saw, I, I saw Ironwood in the dick. So I you want to in his iron dick? So <laughs> so you want to play with swords, huh? So you're a scythe wielder. He forms a black scythe right now. Hmm. He just neat trick. He, he grabs. Um. He throws the 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 the, the, the scythe, but it's mm -hmm. like extending, and it grabs, and the scythe just wraps around his neck, not like a sharp thing. It like wraps around his neck and throws him into Ironwood. Don't. He gets shot in the neck, uh, shot shot in the dick, and then gets a <laughs> crow thrown at him. <sighs> Not the best Ow. day for you, Iron. Let's see. Wood. He gets he he gets back up, and he noticed that his uh the aura around his dick is start, slightly uh flickering, but he starts cracking his knuckles and starts walking forwards, raising his arm, which you also know is slightly mechanical at this point, as he throws it uh, into your face. <laughs> yep, yeah, I, I, ta I take that I take that uh, fist to the face and eat it for breakfast. Yeah, your, your teeth are not looking happy right now. Not, not that. He hits my cheek. I'm like, bitch, is that all you could do? Uh, Crow is drinking. Again, my character just punches with that 14. I just punch Crow again and again and says, like, <laughs> you are such an idiot. You really think Ozpin, you think he's the same? You think you know everything about him? You don't. I use a five just to look at Crow be like, hey, while he's drinking and be like, you know. I would immediately I turns to the side and throws a uh, rather powerful haymaker at Roasted with a 16. Ouch. Let me see what my reaction is. Mm. Nice. My reaction is to... Ooh, so... My reaction is to... Can I... Oh, wait. I don't think I can... I'm running after I see... After I see... <laughs> you just straight up ditch. <laughs> yeah, because he, my... he turns to see my... Uh, I see uh, Iron Bay like... He's not looking. No. Yeah, he's gone. Yeah, he's gone. Silver is gone. Can, um, with that 19, do I cut off a portion of, of uh, his hand, at least? His mechanical <laughs> hand? Oh, yeah. He tries hand. punching. You rip off like half of his fist, and he looks at it as it starts sparkling, and then he looks at you. That uh, 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 was my second favorite hand. Second? What? You think you? Well, I swear. I look back at them really quick before I completely run. Mm -hmm. Hey, hey, Ironwood! Here's a hot dog. Throw him a hot dog at his face. You don't quite know whether or not this is the face of a man who has been betrayed, or face of a man who is disappointed, or face of a man who has been saddened or angry by a dog flying into his face hole. I'm just You're fairly certain he's angry, but you could be wrong. What does what's Crow's reaction? Does he laugh at that? Because I, I bet even though I'm evil, he was Crow laughing. starts downing some more of his whatever he is and starts laughing con uncontrollably. Also My character just himself. realized, well, if Crow's gotten away, he just transforms into Black Mist and goes way over close to the edge over there. So, he just uh, goes... yeah. And is Yang, is Yang on her way right now? No, she's, she's watching Ruby. Ruby. She's making yeah. sure Azul doesn't get the Ruby, because mm -hmm. Rogue sells the room. I incise and grabs uh, Crow before Crow. throwing him onto his back. <sighs> Damn it, crow. Well, well, well. Two peas in a pod. How funny. <laughs> An iron dick and a crow. <laughs> I guess we'll see. Say one more I thing. Guess... You vaguely think that he's trying to gesture with a finger on his broken hand, but it, it there's no fingers on there, so it's kind of awkward. One more thing, and I'm going to break you. You know what? I'm going to make this statement clear right now. 
You should never trust Ozpin. You know how many secrets that fool has? How many lies he's told? And I know you can hear the job. (laughs) If only you knew what he's hiding. And I'll make the statement clear. I'm going to destroy you both. Ozpin included. It's the last thing I do. I call dibs on Crow. I'm with Spitz to the side, and he's like, I don't trust Ozpin for the life of me, but he gets me where my goal needs to go. And for that, I would lay down my life. And what is, and let me ask you this, what is your goal? Protection. Simple as that. Getting a new my, daughter. My character starts laughing hysterically. <laughs> protection that's all you know what ospin i mean i mean ironwood my bad you mm-hmm. know what ironwood you're living in an illusion fantasy there's no such thing as true protection in this world there is no such thing you live under a safety of walls a safety of illusion thinking that everything you have is protected atlas can't always be protected mistral can't always be protected even a village can't always be protected. Empires rise and fall, and it always will. It's the natural cycle. So uh, Things may rise, this... things may fall, but all we can do in the moment is save what we can. We each so, have a purpose uh, in this life, and if we cannot complete that purpose, then we have no more life. So uh, without five, I was going to send uh, something to... Roasted's character through my scroll, but mm-hmm. th- since at five, since I got five, it probably automatically got <laughs> sent to Ironwood. Uh, so <laughs> I, I, I tried to send uh, a message for Roasted mm-hmm. to show both of them saying, Hey, if you see, you're probably wondering where I'm at. Well, here's the thing I won't tell you until some other time. Well, here's the thing if you see Ironwood, tell him. His daughter was good. She was a good catch. I feel bad for killing her. This part of the business. Tell Crow. I still live up to your teachings, except for I'm an evil bastard. You drunken fucking wannabe. He sighs and starts walking back towards Beacon. We'll meet each other again, Iron, and make the statement clear. Ozpin doesn't tell you the whole truth. He's told more lies than how many times I count. And I'll tell you this as much. Don't always trust everything. He, he lets off a sharp, a sharp bark of laughter. If Ozpin told me everything, I would shoot him in the face. Never Ooh, trust I a would, man who never I tells would, a lie. I would play... I, I would pay to see that. Also, never trust a also, man who never tells a lie. For those also, who never tell a lie will always hurt you. Also, also, give her, give him a message, if you want. Well, I want, but question, I wonder if this will piss off Ozpin, to be honest. <laughs> tell Ozm, tell Ozpin that, tell, give him a message for me and say, hello, Ozma. He starts walking. Crow is currently throwing up on his shoulder. All right, that was fun. My, my character disappears and mm-hmm. goes back to his room very quickly before before. Ooh, question. Um, while I'm mm-hmm. f- flying, I see Ruby and Yang and says, and I just because I wait. I mean, they they're the at street? their house. <laughs> yeah, oh, they they wouldn't be at Beacon. Yeah, well, so. they're at, yeah they're in Beacon in their room at the moment. Okay, my character just goes back to his room then because I was gonna go if they were on the street. Oh, hey, hi Yang, and disappear. <laughs> well, wait, wait, really quick. Uh, what? Um, mm-hmm. After the, they, oh, I'm not here. Uh, you should show a scene with me as well, and, uh, Adam, as a cut scene to the next episode. <laughs> Just yeah. like, and I'll be like. Oh, so right now, started. we're about mm-hmm. to probably end soon. So I'm gonna do something. Okay. Mm-hmm. My character, my character goes back to where Rogue is. What is Rogue doing? Rogue at the moment is on the computer looking at. Uh, Things that he has connections with, people he need to talk to, you know, a bunch of other things like that. Trying to figure out the so ins and outs of the entire security system, which is incredibly about, difficult. We're probably about to end in 20 minutes, so let me, uh, 
my character goes to Rogue and says, <sighs> what, a, what a fucking night. <laughs> Have fun. Drunk versus drunk versus an iron dick. <laughs> you don't even want to know what I saw, Rogue. <laughs> well, wait, what, wait. Since uh, since Rogue over here on the computer, does he see uh. through the security cams on the street? Does he see what happened? <laughs> no, he he doesn't see any, through any of the cameras because okay. my the character just cool. lights a cigarette and just be like, okay. "This is this was the most mm -hmm. ridiculous night I ever had." <laughs> a drunk versus a drunk versus an iron dick. <laughs> that's all. That's all I want this episode to be called. <laughs> that would be the best episode title. <laughs> Yeah, sadly no profanity in the title, but we'll yeah, see. Yeah, well, um, Iron, Iron Wood versus yeah. Drunk. Drunk versus Drunk versus Iron Man. Yes, yes. Uh, but anyways, uh, so Rogue man. looks up and he's like, I've gotten a little bit more information about the uh, researcher. Her name is Diana Paltina. Uh, Paltina? Uh, Paltina, Paul. Paltina, I don't know. Yeah, I think it's Paltina. Uh, Diana Penny Paltina, Paltina. she's the head researcher as yeah. well as head... Um, creator at the atlas labs she creates most of their robotics she also could have a daughter company paladina yay <laughs> looks like looks like we're gonna have to do a little bit of distraction i know i hate saying but bring barbecue sauce <laughs> Ro gives you a look that can only be said as oh god no <laughs> just this once it'll be really? the perfect distraction. and oh, right now I and right now, I just saw the worst fight I've ever had. Crow versus Crow, drunk versus drunk. And this is a tin man. Also, he shows them Ironwood's hand. And I got a fry. <laughs> I can't pull with the boss. I just... Right now, I'm going to have to contact Sailor. Look at some data things. Boy. Looks like we're going to have to alter... Wait a minute. He pulls out his scroll and his his virus has been sending him data. Mm -hmm. This is interesting. Mm -hmm. It seems according to these coordinates, besides that little top secret project that I got my hands on, hmm, looks like we have two options. We could choose to do both if we can. I think one would be better. I'm going to have to look at this. Right now, puppet. He summons him. The public cocks his head. Salem. Oh boy, this has been one hell of a fucking... <laughs> Let me grab out the thingamabobs. Puppet and Boop. That's a little bit big. Uh, Salem's not gonna be happy. Could, could, you, could you work? Game? Could you stop being a dick? All right. <laughs> Okay. Can you, can you yeah, double clicking. I love the double clicking. I love the double clicking so much. <laughs> there you go, buddy. There you go. Hello, she looks Mr. at you with a raised eyebrow. Looks like two of our team members just got caught. Hmm. As did Team Carmine, I can see. It seems that the heroes from the other world, it seems they just informed. Ozpin and even Ironwood, who they are. Hmm, that could be an issue. I uh, I send a message through the communicator. I got Rose mm -hmm. saying I've caught up with Azul and Adam. Tell the mistress if you're with her that don't worry about me. I'll help. I'll help in the way that I could help with an old buddy of mine, Adam Taurus. I can convince him and the Fag to help us in our cause. I tr my character just, my character, since it's on, since the thing mm -hmm. is on quietly speaker, he says, I trust the White Fang as far as I can. They did, but for this once, I'll gladly accept their help. He Don't turns worry. off the community. I look, at, I, I, I look after mm -hmm. so. Don't worry, guys. He'll do with me. I can, I can tell you, you guys can trust him. For now, mm. just follow Adam's lead. He's a good leader. So, we'll see. change of plans have off. occurred. Yeah. He shuts off his communicator. Mm. <sighs> Looks like we had to do, and we had to deal with an issue, and I had to help. Oh. Apparently, Crow Bronwyn's in town. 
And I took a prize. Shows Ironwood's hand. Interesting. I just text. Use it for handprints. <laughs> Ironwood usually uses them as his handprint. His robot <laughs> hand is his dominant hand. I've seen it. I am scarred for life. <laughs> My character looks at a scroll and says, well, it looks like we got two options. Downloading. And one of the viruses has been discovered, and an uh, Atlas researcher heading towards town to check on the virus. Hmm. Well, when she arrives, distract her. Attempt to make her believe there is no virus. Don't worry, we will. And it looks like... Uh, let's see. Oh, this is interesting. Looks like we can either do two options. We can do be great, but it cause more ruckus. We can do one, and there wouldn't be no ruckus that much. We can either have another train, which actually has the components we need on it to make the weapon that looks like it has. But the Atlas refueling station, we can take control of an Atlas ship, and they it's there. But uh, this is going to be one hell of a night. Great. Hmm. Okay, the preparation's done. The Vile Festival is almost upon us. That's very well. Any situation we can get with Team Karma, are we able to change their identities and bring them back? They will not be able to come into Beacon anymore. During the Vital Festival, you will gladly receive Neo and Emerald, but they will be the only two here, and they will be inside the stadium, Ooh, watching and waiting. Neo, I'm fine with. Just Cinder, I'm not surprised what happened. <sighs> Still gonna help her get her maiden powers, but I warned her. Hmm. I, like I said before, Salem, I don't like Cinder. She's focused, like you said, but she's too arrogant. Arrogance comes with a price, one you learn after time. I know. All right, we'll let you in on the situation. Right now, I guess we gotta get ready to plan. Hmm. Keep I'll me updated. Let you in updates. She then disappears. <sighs> All right. Looks like, looks like we got to plan everything now. We only got two members of the team, and the other two are out with the White Fang, and probably with. <laughs> let's see what we got. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see here. So, and I'll switch over to Malachi real quick. And I'm with Adam and Azul. And, yep. a, f and, and a few of the right thing. Wait, is Roman there? Because he, he's helping Roman is not. Roman's currently uh, okay. making preparations okay. for the train. Okay, so I'm with Adam and Azul. Oh, wait, my character's there. Oh, all right. Whoops. <laughs> I did not see that. Well, I could have my puppet there. <laughs> but anyways, so... Uh, yeah, Adam uh, looks at uh, you and uh, Burnett. Hmm. It's good to see you again, my friend. It's been a while. Yeah. Last oh, thing I remember on. seeing of you is me wanting to punch you in the face. Oh, come on. Man, at least I at least I tried to warn you about what happened with Blake. She was a traitor from you, and I still am trying to help you get her back. It's not mm. like I'm all that bad. He, like, growls at you slightly. What do you want? Well, it looks like well, I've, we've been compromised. So I've been sent here to help you with everything. I mm. will be under your command for now. If you need anything, like I said, I'm here to help you. Mm. I'm going to leave Blake to you. When it come, time comes, leave Ruby and Weiss to me. Those two have a, I have a score to those two, mm -hmm. especially Ruby because of Crow. <laughs> those two mean nothing to me. Blake don't and worry. Yang, on the other hand. Yang oh, is becoming an and I don't interesting. Know, did you tell him that I cut her hair off? <laughs> Ooh, uh, I look over to Adam and uh, tell him, well, you don't have to worry about it. When my, when, uh, 
midnight over there while he's still there. He'll handle her. When he reveals himself, she'll go after him. While you can have Blake. So you don't want to worry about her when the time comes. She should not be involved. Well, LT and puts the hand on your shoulder. You see, the best way to really, really hurt somebody. You notice his hand tightening on your shoulder as he says this is to take every single thing that they possibly love, that they cherish, that they hope for, that they have inside them, and rip it out, bleed it dry, make them oh, see it, and shove it back in. You know, I know what you mean by that. That's why I was going to take Ruby. With Ruby injured, Yang would come after me, and then I could help you. I can help you with getting Yang out of the way, which in turn will turn Blake against everything that she believed in. Beat her down emotionally. Then you can take her. It's not that bad of a plan, is it not? This shall be a very interesting game that we shall play. He moves his hand off the arm. Indeed. Now, yeah, our first step months. is to get things ready for the big show. Indeed. Renat, I mean Azul, I keep getting his name. Azul, can you come here for a sec? I, th I don't, uh, I'm over here looking at him being like, I think we need some extra muscle for the next part of our plan. And muscle! Muscle! <laughs> I look at him and be like, yeah, it's muscle. When I look at... When I look at it, I think when the time comes, Roman will need some help with the train. I'll stay here with Adam when the time comes and Muscle. help him with the thing. Muscle. Adam will need Muscle. a couple of thing members. Would that be okay with you, Adam, if uh, Roman has a few thing members to help him with the train? He does a thumbs up and grabs his bicep. Yeah! <laughs> wait, well, wait. So Do you have a uh, I'll make sure Roman has some for you. Yeah. Is I my like puppet him. my puppet there? Oh, oh at the uh, moment it is not. Um, I look over to Adam and be like, when the time comes, I'll help you out. After all, what are all the friends for? I still have, I still owe you a favor. After all, everything I did helped you get to where you are in the white thing. Plus, Fiona Khan doesn't really embrace the ideals that I thought for the White Thing when I saw you. You have to admit that, don't you, Ray? Well, let's just say she's not here any longer. Ooh, finally put that plan into motion. That's good. That's good. See, with the White Thing, she really wasn't leading us anywhere. Neither was Gira over there and Branch. See, when I saw you join the White Fang, I saw burning passion. You know, when it comes to sneeze, I think we have something in common. They're backstabbing, <laughs> manipulative, fondness haters. Why is Blake yeah. up there? Where? <laughs> what? Where? Yeah, oh, she is there, huh? She, she's blended in so perfectly that I forgot she yeah, was she's gone. <laughs> she wasn't there. She was not supposed so... to be <laughs> You know, I may blame not be so a perfectly. I forgot she existed. <laughs> you know, I may not be a funnest, but I did have to go through through the same times. Uh, tough to you guys bit with the uh, sneeze. I may have liked a sneeze in the past, but she's <clears> dead to me. So, like I said, leave voice to me. You could have Ruby and I mean, you can have Blake and Yang. I'll help you out with Yang. Leave Ruby to me. Her and her uncle. Have some unfinished business with me. That is a deal I can really sink my teeth into, he says as the white fangs start laughing. But anyways, so that's where we're going to end it for today since we don't have any of the other two team members. And really, we need at least one of the team members from either side to do anything with your guys' sides. I love it. Like, two teammates from both sides of it. Where, God, it's like... I, I, okay, but they're, they're, okay, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> but anyway, Why am I a mid Why am I, do, I, I do, <laughs> Because I do you have to admit to guys, like, I, like, uh, Sin said in the beginning, mm -hmm. if you guys hear the mic, they'll try to, like, 
yeah. tamper that with that. But if it isn't, sorry guys, I had it. Yeah, I tried to A out it, but if you guys are hearing the, his mic thingy, um, it more or less just tapers off every now and again, so don't worry too much about it. Yeah. Um, but hopefully that won't be in the future. Uh, he's also going to try to use his other mic soon, so that should hopefully be better. And uh, yeah, so if you guys like this video, please check out other videos. We have uh, the hero side as well, if you guys want to see an entirely kind of different format of you know how we do little stuff and a little bit different players. We will randomly be switching over. <laughs> Next one will be the Vio Festival whenever we do that. Uh, so if you guys want to see more of their world and whatnot, you're more than welcome to. And go check out Fallout Equestria as well because I, I'm doing a fan fiction on that. Not going to be updating it too often because I do have a lot of life stuff to do, but it is there. So if you guys want to go ahead and check that out, it's all right there for you. And uh, yeah, we'll see you guys in the next episode. Off to Peterson. See you guys later. Cookies and tits. Adam's out. <laughs>